Hello, my peepers. Oh my God, I keep forgetting to click record when I start doing these videos. <laughs> Anyways, this is my little bag. It has a lot of little, um, lots of pencils in it. Um, I have a small batch of Venus pencils and Walnut Hollow Farm. I guess they're an older pencil someone gave me. I have two of the Faber-Castell um, Gold Faber-Aqua pencils to try. I have four pencils of the Derwent Pro Colors for me to try. And I have three of the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dürer pencil, watercolor pencils. I like to buy them single so I can try them. I bought two of the Koh-i-Noor Tritones and I use the Earth Tones a lot. So that's how I knew I already loved these. Um, did I just show you my Prismacolors? All my Prismacolor extra ones because I'm running low. I have my two little frogs, my peepers, that sit in here. So if I leave them on the table, the cat steals them or the dog. I have a graphite pencil for sharpening my pencil sharpeners. I have a thing of um, paint brushes. I have some of the cutting mats to put inside my coloring books. And I have a few of the Faber-Castell pit pens. So that's what's in this little basket, tote bag, whatever you want to call it. So let's see, pastels. I have Dewdrop Brilliance pastels. See them. I've used them a little bit. I have my Prismacolor Premier New Pastels. That's, I use these all the time in my backgrounds of my coloring books. Um, I use my X-Acto knife, scrape it either on the paper or in a paint thing. You know what I mean, a palette. And I have a few pan pastels. I don't have many, just a couple. So, and I've tried those. I like them. So those are my pastels. Well, actually, that's not all of them because I do have, um, oops. I do have the portfolio oil pastels or water soluble that um, a peeper gave me. And I haven't tried these yet. I want to watch. I want to watch a color tube video first. Um, these were given to me two Christmases ago. They're gel highlighters. So I use them to mark, like I have a list for this week of what I want to color in and what are color lawns or buddy colors. And then when I finish the page, I highlight them. Nothing major. Um, this was given to me by a floss tuber. She sent me this pink um, case and it had um, the Derwent eraser with um, 30 refills, a little bit of Gamasol, um, an eraser, paper stumps. I bought these extra sharpeners. So that's what was in here. Now my nose is starting to run. I have a small cold. It's not getting worse though. In fact, it feels a little bit better than um, yesterday. I have the Crayola Twistable Crayons, a 40 count. They're all in this box. You probably won't see me use them too much in videos. Um, I'll probably use these when I color with the boys. And someone sent me this little tin with all kinds of purple, purple crayons because that's my favorite color. Okay. 
Okay. I have the Crayola watercolors because Dee Dee says you don't need expensive watercolors. She uses Crayola. And then I have the 30 count of the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2 water soluble wax pastels. I love these. And now I want the, the whole set. And I will be using them more this year. I need to I need to get a schedule going. I'm just putting these away as I'm talking because I have a mess. Oh, and then the other watercolors I have is this set. Um, 24 color compact paint set by Art Advantage. And it's got some cute colors. So I need to use these. And I have my paint palette. And I have some paint brushes in this and my acrylic paints. I have a few acrylic paints and my stickles are in here and glue paints. So they're all in here. I don't have many. I need more. So that's what's in this one. Put these up there. Okay. What else do I have? Oh, I have a can of workable fixative that I put over when I use my pastels. I have my exacto knife. A peeper gave me this really nice set. So I have that for scraping my pastels. Um, I showed you the highlighters. Did I show you the highlighters? I think so. I had to restart this video because I keep forgetting to press record. Um, I have this little pouch here. And it has some highlighters and more highlighters and purple pens and markers. And the peepers gave me all of these. I have another one of these from 31 and this has my Stabilo fine liners which once these are gone I want the Statler ones I've tried them I loved them extra gel pens like if they're like doubles of what I have in my gel pen thing and this is pastel colors and I don't remember where I got that I haven't used them yet they're in here And I have this tin. It was a tea bag holder, and I took some of my scrapbook paper, put it on there, and I have extra gel pens, and markers, and stuff in here. I have some makeup sponges for the pastels. Um, I have a lot of stuff. I'm just finding room for them. <laughs> Okay, I have this little pouch here, and this is full of U.S. art supply watercolor pencils. They suck as for coloring and for watercolor pencils, so this will be going to the boys. I have a little bag for them when they come here and they can color. Okay, my markers. I have the Copic Chow Skin Tone Markers. A peeper gave me these Creative Shop Premium Washable Markers. They're double-ended brush and tip. And I have my Zig Clean Color Real Brush. I will be starting to use these 
because I really, really wanted them. I got them and just have not had the time. Where, where does time go? I know, I know. I, I join all these color lawns because they're so much fun. Okay, my other markers I have are the Crayola Super Tips. I only have 50. That's all the store sold here. I might order the 100. I'm not sure yet. I like to do them as like a wash in the background so because it's easier to color over them. Um, I have my three cases of my Prismacolor Premier Alcohol Markers, which you've just seen me use in a video. You can buy the cases separate and you can buy them open stock. I have the 64 count Crayola crayons because Ann and I did that as a um, a Crayola challenge last year. I have the Crayola twistable pencils. Are these the pencils? Yes. These are the pencils. So, see, I do have some things that are budget friendly. I'm putting away as I'm talking because it makes it so much easier. I have a heat gun so when I'm using my um, water paints net I can dry it if I want to color keep coloring and I don't want to make a mess. Um, this coffee mug is always kept here. It has scissors, it has my eraser, it has a Posca pen, it has my water brushes, it has an eraser with my um, brush, um, a bunch of these gel pens and my silver and my gold, my blender pencil, um, an extender, pencil extender, my graphite pencil to keep my pencil sharpener sharp. So that's all kept in this little cup here. I have my Prisma color sharpener and actually I've been using it and having really good luck with it lately. These are my gel pens. These were given to me by a floss tuber. And so I put them in by what kind they are. So I have those. And then I have the jelly rolls. All kinds of those. And she sent them to me in these containers. So I have those. Um... This is always kept on my table here. This has um, a little pouch. It was from Epsi that, that was the makeup cases and it has all my tabs in here. My little tabs that I use in my books. So I keep all my tabs in here. And then I have another little pouch and that has my um, it has my file for my fingers and my EOS, EOS lip balm. So, oh, that's the weather bug going off. I have no idea. Let me look, and then you guys will know. Um, yeah, so in here also is a Faber Castell sharpener, which I've never used. I bought a Thena Gamsol, and I have some Q tips in here. I have black Sharpie markers and my blender, oh this is a black, my extra one, 
and I think this is the blend. No, that's another black. That's the blender, the alcohol blender. And I have my m &R sharpener and my Coombe sharpener and my Tegal and an eraser. It's just full of stuff like that. So that's what I keep here right on the table by me. And then next to that, I dump all my pencil sharp sh shavings in here. And when it gets a little full, I just dump it out in the garbage. I have extra Uniball pens. Um, let me see the weather before we start in on the pencils. Oh, we got a flood watch. No snowstorm, but I think we have one come in the end of the week. Yep, a warm front will lift across the region on Monday, boosting temperatures into the 40s from Monday night into Tuesday, and then flooding from all the snow. We have a ton. Of, we still have snow, not a ton, but we still have snow. Okay, two more things. I also have this pouch that was given to me by a peeper. And this has this has my Wink of Stella in it, extra pencils, my extra Prismacolor blenders, and Posca pens. So that's what's in this. I do have another one of these. I have this type here that has two zippered compartments. And so this can travel with me when I take a coloring book and I don't want to take everything. But if I'm gone, or even if I'm gone a couple days, I can just put a few things in here. And this has come in handy. I really like this. And a peeper gave me this. So those I have. Oh my gosh. My nose is running today. Okay, now I'm not lying. I am onto my pencils. I have turned into a pencil collector. I really didn't want to buy any more budget friendly pencils, but I have bought a few the past couple weeks just because Anne's been using them in her color lawns. Um, these are my Crayola signatures that a peeper sent to me. And then I bought the pencil case. But I have my Crayola signatures in here. This is what I used instead of the Crayola pencils that Ann used this past week. So I have those. These are my Prismacolor Verithins. They are a hard leaded pencil. They work great in Create Space paper. There is a total of 36 colors. I do have the 36 set coming to me. I won in a giveaway. I'm just waiting for them to put them in here. I also have my Prismacolor watercolor pencils in here and the Statlers, which I absolutely freaking hate these Statlers. So those will probably go in with the kids. And then I have a bunch of um, metallic pencils and I don't know the brands. They're not written on them. They're loose. And I have one of those putty erasers and a UB pencil sharpener. So the Statlers will come out and the new Verithins will go in. And I do mark my cases. I gotta put one on the new ones. These cases, I put these on here. They are um, ID tags, and I put them on the zipper pull so I know what pencils are in what cases. So I do have to still mark the Crayola one. These are my Polychromos, Faber-Castell Polychromos. I do not need a ID on these because this is the pink case, and the big pink case are my Polychromos. And I have the whole set of those. They were given to me by a peeper. 
the purple case, because these are by Sue Color, both of the pink and the purple. These are my polychromos. I have the whole set. And if you look, a lot of these are getting very small. This is my lilac. That's all that's left of it. This is my um, spring green. You can't even read the color anymore. I just know what it is. So, yeah, some of these are getting really small. And I have some. And I do have a small stock from the last time I went to the store. So, I have to go through it again. So, let me go put these up on the shelf so I have more room on this table. I am loving my pencils, so bear with me. They are just something I'm spending my money on. These are MoMA Muji pencils that um, Catherine bought me. They do not have the color written on them. They do have a number. You can hardly read the number. So I had to do a swatch chart of these. I think it's in here. Yeah, I did the swatch chart so that I know what they look like colored. And then I kept it in here. So that's what these pencils are. Okay. And these are my Marco Ruffines or Ruffines. These were like the first set of pencils that I bought besides, I think I bought these way before I bought the um, Prismacolors. And then these are the Marco Ruffine metallic pencils in here. So I have all their pencils in this case. Um... This case here has my Karen Dosh Luminance. There's some Holbeins and my Conti A Paris Pastel Pencil. So, these are the pastel pencils I have. I haven't really played around with them too much. So I need to do that because I want them for backgrounds. And I don't know what I have for skin tone. And then these are my Luminance. The Luminance pencils were also given to me by a peeper. So they're in here. And then a peeper sent me a small set of Holbeins. So I have some Holbeins to play with. What are these? These were these were Catherine's. When she was here, when we did that video together, she brought her Tombow Irritants. And she says I could borrow them till she saw me again. And I've been trying them and I love them. So yesterday she told me I could keep them. She's buying herself a new set. But she wants her pencil case back and her pencil swap sheet. And I said, really? You're letting me keep these pencils? I love them. So thank you, Catherine. I was really shocked. So they do have to come out. I do have to buy a pencil case for these. This case here has my new Spur Farben pencils that a peeper bought me. These are, and I really liked these. I've already colored with them. So I will be doing more color lawns with these. I'm not done. I told you I've turned into a pencil. Yeah pencil collector and I still want more I have a list still yes I do <laughs> a peeper sent me the Koinor tritones when she saw in my video that I really liked them she didn't like them she didn't want them anymore so she private messaged me would you like these I'd like to send them to you so I got these and I still need a pencil case for these This case here 
his McCarran Dodge Super Colors and McCarran Dodge Pablos. I only have the 12 set of the Pablos. That's all I bought because I wanted to try them. And I fell in love with them. So now I want the whole set. So when I get the whole set, I will probably give these away. And then a peeper bought me a bunch of the super colors. I don't have them all. These are big Karen, da Karen Dosh. They're Karen Dosh super color too soft. They're a um, watercolor pencil. I haven't used them as watercolor pencils yet, but I have used them as pencils and I love them. So I will be adding more to this collection. And then a peeper sent me the Black Widow and Scorpion pencils. It's there in this case. I do like the Scorpions. They tell the color. I wish it was down here more, but it's up in the middle. And then the Black Widow ones do not have a number or a color written on them. But I guess that the company said that the new ones they'll be doing will have colors on them. So I will probably eventually buy the new set and compare them to these so I can write on them. And I already showed these. This is my Derwent bag that someone, a peeper, sent me. Nothing in there, just the shoulder. And I have... My Derwent ink tents in here. I have the small set of Derwent ink tents. Because I didn't know if I would like them. So I, I bought. And then these are the Derwent Artist pencils. These are very hard lead. I'm not real fond of them. But I will play with them more. And then I have the Derwent ink tents. Oh, these are still the artists. And then I have the Derwent Metallic um, watercolor pencils. And there's my ink tents. I don't have the whole set. I just have a small set. That's all I bought. These are nice. They're not like a, they're a watercolor pencil, but not, it's ink. It's, it's different. Um, once you put the water to it and you put, the water where you want it, it dries, it's done. You can't move it anymore like you kind of watercolor. So I have those, which I need to use more of. The artist pencils, I got to play around with more on different kinds of paper. I'm going to get this all. And then if you just watched my... My um, Sunday... Color, color haul. I now have the 100 set of Crayola colored pencils. I do like the signature pencils better. They're a little bit softer and they blend easier than these, but I have them because we might just do a whole month of different Crayola products. And then the last set I just bought was the Sargent Art Supreme. You get 72 pencils in a set, and I need to get a pencil case for this as well. And um, Anne is going to use these in the color lawn starting this week, so I bought them. I'm still debating on the Artezas, but I don't think I'm going to buy them right now because I'm still saving for the Pablos. But that is it, and yes, I have a ton of colored pencils, and I'm going to keep buying colored pencils because those are my favorite. Those are what I color with 99% of the time. I am starting to use the gel pens more, though. But yeah, that's, I have a lot. And my room is still getting organized in here. I need one, two, three, four sets of bookends. I need to buy for my bookshelves. They're they're just shelves. They don't have ends on them, and they're attached to the wall. And my books will not stand up, so I need to get those. And 
the top shelf will be all my colored pencils and that and they need a book end as well. That is it for today. Once everything is organized in here, I will do a video of what my little creativity room is because I also have a dresser in the closet um, that has all my cross stitch stuff in it. So it's getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all later, my peepers. Bye-bye.